um, the scenario is called the Gross Deutschland takes storm. So I mean that tells tells it all. The Germans have a huge number of forces against paltry defenders, so it's a bit of a no hoper for the French. Um, <laughs> it, although the victory determination is that the player holds all hexes of stone at the end of the game, so the only hope for the French is to hold one or two hexes of stone, which is about six or seven hexes. But you know that's a slim chance. Um, they're not allowed any. There are no prepared defenses, so there can be no dug in at the start, um, and we can see that. They're going to become under fire pretty quickly, so they won't be accruing a lot of weighted turns in which to implement any potential dug-in ops sheet. Um, and yeah, the description of the scenario says it all as well. This covers the first phase of the Storm battle, which includes the initial capture of Storm and the destruction of the 205th RI. That's the um, French infantry here. So it's kind of like, if you looked at that, and then you looked at your victory conditions as a French player, you'd say, why am I playing this game? <laughs> oh no. So my sense is that um, the victory conditions determine that the French player has been told, you know, the French player has been told, hold Ston. We know that uh, at nine, when the scenario ends, major reinforcements are going to come in here. So the idea is... is um hold stone until they get them, you know, delay and create as much damage as you can before the cavalry comes to save the day. Uh, as a sensible French player, you might um, forget all thought of defence of stone and put these on an op sheet to counter-attack some way, knowing that you're going to lose this scenario, but as the campaign continues, um, you will retake stone later, as that being your intention. So that might be the sensible thing to do, but I'm kind of just going to go with that scenario idea of you've been ordered to hold it. These guys are in support. What are you going to do? Um, so that's, yeah, what I've got to say so far. Uh, one thing to note, so that um, these are older rules and the updated rules, you have to quarter all these ammunition supplies. So... For example, the Germans, that means they have 10 105mm HE. Uh, illuminations they don't need at the moment. Um, and what a quarter, so about four smoke against um, the French have 12 or 13 HE and um, maybe th say three smoke. So that is the situation. Um, and I'll show you what I had for the German planning. So I like to sort of flip the graphic because, you know, if I plan this this way, I'm planning it. Yes, it's a sensible thing to do to take the, the French side if you're planning as a German, say, what would I do as the French and so forth. But also it helps me psychologically to hold it this way. This is where we are and that's where we're heading to. You know, so I might do something cute and cut out one of these and turn it around and add it to that so I can continue that way forward with planning for the Germans um, but my printer's not working at the moment so um, we'll see but anyway sorry this graphic's not so good because the colour leaked through from this side so I felt I couldn't put colour on this side or else everything would be unreadable on both sides but basically these are the German setups areas as you saw overleaf and the these blue bits are the known French setup positions but obviously I've moved that one and uh, one of these so um, but still we can hear, see the basic German thoughts at the moment this um, supporting force is going to deal with those two so whether this is there or there that's their job. Deal with those to keep them away from the main attack. Then the main attack, this should show quite a broad front, but the sense being that um, this is the road, and so there will be an attack going in from here. <clears throat> then the, the, a lot of infantry will advance through a broad front on these woods. You can't read it very well, but then... 
um, there's phase line here to assemble for the main attack and then it will split into two forces a force to take out the mortar and machine guns there or at least screen them suppress them maybe from the woods line here as you remember and then the other main force to attack storm from this side in coordination with these this group which stops on the phase line here having brushed these aside will attack from the north so west north and then slightly more complicated arrangement here is this column is designated to meet up with the tanks in these woods to the um, east of Ston, probably a bit further down than I've actually indicated here. So to meet up around here and then on phase line, um, that's phase line pudding. This is phase line pear and that's phase line plum. Um, so phase line pudding is the assembly area for attack from the east. So the hope is, is to coordinate east, west and north attacks. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'll do that at the moment. Um, I guess I will have to designate a particular time. And then when it comes to it, if someone's not there at the designated time, do I call failure instructions or does the attack go ahead? uncoordinated that's the excitement i think of tcs op sheets plannings um so uh that's the idea uh, just so you know um this is the french defense is operation sur vous play and um the french counterattack disruption rear arrow disruption here is operation bonbon um okay so um as and when I get to um, get the game underway, uh, I will do a bit of coverage of it, similar to the Leros game. But I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to take this the whole campaign so I get, a, as I said before, feel for the whole shebang. Um, we'll have to see, um, you know, everything permitting. Um, but the main thing is my like endurance, because I haven't done this before with the TCS and op sheet, so and um, system, which seemed to take quite a bit of die wrong, but in Leos I didn't have too many units, so it seemed okay, but here I got lots of units, so although like some might be inactive, accruing op sheets, preparation, etc. at times throughout that day, we do have something like, what, 30 or 40 turns, which if there's combat in a lot of those turns, that's going to be a lot, it's going to take a long time do um okay i think that's all i can hopefully say on this at the moment uh i'll see you on the net ciao for now